Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Look, I noticed in the last episode that uh, the audio was a bit weird, so I uh, hope I fixed the issue slightly. I uh, hope the volume of the game is just a little bit louder and everything. But besides that, I just wanted to point out a few things. Uh, look how much stuff there is to just go, what is that? Like, for one, we already know, like, we don't know what that is over there. Well, let's just zoom in at it. What is this? No idea. Then you got more towers. Grumble Volcano. <laughs> it's not Grumble Volcano. You know what I mean. You got the Volcano. You got Hyrule Castle. Those are pretty normal. And then you got, what is that thing? It moves. Interesting. There's so many questions that this game throws at you right in the beginning. Like, it's just a game where you're like, what is going on? But, we'll get all those answers over time, won't we? I hope so. I really, really hope so. Anyway, let's go. Let's keep going. Head on down. Head on down. Oh. There he is. My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. Hmm. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? Uh, I heard a voice. Hmm. Well now, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? Nope. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule of, to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Ooh. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs, with no way down. If you were to jump, try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over! Oh, certainly. Why not? But there's no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Hmm. Let me see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? The isolated plateau. Open adventure log. Hmm. Come, let me show you something. And then we gotta painfully follow this old geezer. Follow him up here. Yada da 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 da. Ooh. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure. Wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider, a fair exchange, I believe. You know what? You right. This is such a great introduction to a game. It shows you everything you need to know without holding your hand. And that is something that a lot of games nowadays are missing. I'm gonna go the long way. I could go that way and fight some bokoblins, but I'm kind of a weenie. If I'm, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I, I'm just, I'm not into it. I'm not into fighting over and over and over and over, you know? Alrighty. 
It seems to me that we... That, ah, just I, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm trying to take in the game in its entirety, like, show off everything, like... Just look how much we've traveled, right? Like, there's the temple, right? And here is where we are. That's the shrine, that's the, uh... Where's the Temple of Time located? Right here? Yeah. That's how much we've moved out of all of this. Oh my goodness. It's it's a lot. I'm very excited to explore everything, but man, it's going to be a minute. We're going to be... I, and the thing is, there's so many of these little things in the game. It's crazy. I, I, I'm just very excited to do a lot of these. A lot of these are really fun. Anyway, the Oman, the Oman Au Shrine. Let's do it. Shrines are basically your dungeons of this game. Sheikah Slate confirmed. It's crazy how many of these there are. Travel gate registered to map. So now you can fast travel here. Access granted. Alrighty. Now we can head on in to this shrine. Shrines, like I said, are like mini dungeons. They're just little puzzles you thought you solve throughout little every area. It's crazy how set how awesome this is. I don't know how else to word it. It's such an awesome idea, and I'm very glad that they came up with this instead of having like, you know, eight random dungeons throughout the game. You know, find the three things and then find the six things, you know? It's a lot better. To you who set foot in this shrine, sets foot in this shrine, I am Omanawu. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial, Magnesis trial, Magnesis, Magnesis, Omanawu shrine. Yep. In these first ones, we're gonna get several abilities that are very needed, mind you. Sheikah Slate Authenticated Distilling Rune. Whoa, what is this? We got Magnesis. Magnesis? Magnesis. I don't know how to say it. Rune Extracted. We can now use runes. Runes are like little magic abilities that help Link throughout his adventure. Like this. Whoa! Bro, and I can drop down here. See how that works? You're gonna be using these throughout the game, like everywhere, like even out in public areas. Like it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Okay, hold up. I messed up, there we go, pull this out. And you can even use it. Hold on. Uh, here's our first slightly difficult enemy. Is he difficult though? Nope. Bam. Take that. You can use these to attack enemies. Anyway, what is this? An ancient screw. A screw used in ancient machinery. It's made of an unknown material, and no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show any signs of wear. That's crazy. Anyway, you can use the magnet one for basically everything in these type of dungeons. Uh, I say that loose. Whoa, okay. Listen here, buddy. That wasn't cool. I had that perfect. And excuse you. Thank you. Like, for instance, if I want this treasure here which I'd have no idea what it is. I can just grab it, yank it, and bring it down to me. What? It, let's open up our little treasure. Every, I think everyone's got one. Got a treasure inside. Traveler's bow. I talk like I know this game very well. In reality, I've only played through it once. But I know most of the dungeons because I literally tried 100% to get my first run through. Anyway, here we go.
you have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman Au, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. All right. You got a spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. I hope so. I'm trying my best here. Aim uh, controls easy, and I'm not going to be tilting anything because I don't play in handheld mode, but you can't, I believe you can't tilt the Joy Cons in general. Anyway, let's exit here. Up oh, there he is. There's the jolly old fellow. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. Paraglider, please. I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my courageous friend. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. Hmm. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. Paraglider, please. I have yet to finish speaking. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. That wasn't the deal. Oh? Well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you joking? Oh, ho, ho. I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Hmm. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Well, only one way to really find out, isn't there, old man? Grey Plateau Tower, travel. What a great way to explain, like, fast traveling. This, this game's a masterpiece, bro. I'm not even gonna say anything else about it. But if you look over in the corner on the right, it'll tell you how many uh, shrines we've done and how many spirit orbs we've gotten. <laughs> Oh-ho. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. How did you... Ha ha ha. Leave an old man his secrets. Now then. I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope in your Sheikah Slate? Look through it, and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Alright. The pins on your map serve as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. I got it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Alrighty. See, there's the one here, now that it's blue, we've done that one. 
But if you look over here, bam, there's one over here, huh? We're gonna aim right at it and then place the pin there. And then we're gonna look for the others. There's two more. Found one. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. That's two. And number three should be right over here. We now know where all three of our shrines are going to be and they're well spread out. There's the first one. This one, this one, this one. First one we're going to go through is going to be the one of the Eastern Abbey. It's the one right down there. All right, guys, let's do it. This adventure is officially pretty much begun. Um, like, this is technically still the tutorial. It's a very long tutorial, but it doesn't feel like a tutorial, and that's what makes it fun, you know? We got a long adventure ahead of us. That's the only thing I'm going to say, is it's a long adventure with a lot of trials <laughs> best way to word it anyway just this how vast this world is is honestly the part of which i like about this game and just how pretty it is there's so many things here to like just look at and explore like half the time i'm not even watching link i'm just looking at the environment like and see how the grass just blades through him it's so perfect look the flowers just move it sways well they put so much polish into this one and i think that's what i like about it because i feel like that's one thing a lot of zelda games were missing was polish anyway we're about to encounter something here that i don't know if i'm ready for but we'll find out won't we Head on straight through here. Oh no. Whoa, okay. Missed me. Easy. <laughs> anyway, climb up here. Those things, don't bother fighting them yet. Uh, in fact, don't bother fighting them for a good minute. Um, if at all. Honestly, I don't remember really fighting any. Oh my god. The Jabage. The Jab, 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 Jabage? Jabage? I do not know how to say these shrine names. I, I think I can say like two of them throughout the entire game. Very clever of them, by the way, to have something like this. You know? Anyway, let's do this. Head on down. Ah, oh, two, two in one episode. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect to get to two of these today. Um, some of these can be quite lengthy. Some of them are quite short. Uh, the first four are pretty short. Um, so this, I could definitely do it within the next two minutes. As long as I don't, you know, completely screw the pooch on this one. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Jabaj. Uh, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. The bomb trial. That's right, we're getting bombs already. She could slay authenticated distilling rune. Remote bomb, bomb that can be detonated remotely. Rune extracted. Alrighty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this, we're gonna throw it, and then we're gonna bam, explode it. Easy as pie. Bam, and now we get this treasure. We got a Traveler's Claymore. A really good weapon for the beginning of the game. Yep. Basically, we're just gonna be having a lot of fun with this one. I, I totally forgot how long this one is, and it actually is pretty decently long. All right. Ow! Oh, I always do that. Show, way to show me up for trying to be good at the game. Damn. All right, 
This one's gonna be a little bit longer than 20 minutes. I'm okay with it. I'm, my rule is generally 20 to 25, so it doesn't really matter that much, but damn. I forgot how long this one is. Basically, what you wanna do here is you wanna take your bomb. Bam. That do it? And if you wanna get to this treasure over here, uh, I'm running out of stamina way too quick. Whee! Isn't that awesome? Ugh. All right, Amber, perfect. Head drop on down, head this way. Afraid I'm gonna die up here for some reason. Oh, no, I'm, all right, I got it, we're good. I blew up enough of it, I think. I don't need to worry. Yep, perfect. With one heart left, here we go. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Whoa. You got a spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. And we're gonna get out of there. <laughs> After this, I'm just gonna skip all of those final things. But that it will be it for this episode. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys on the flip side. And see you guys then, I guess. I was hoping the loading screen would go by a little bit quicker than that so I could at least be on the exit area. Yep, here we are. All right, cool. I'll see you guys in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the flip side. See you guys then. All that stuff I said already previously. I suck at outros. Oh, well. <laughs>